Each week, U.S. Bank presents future leaders. These are athletes who have shown through perseverance their ability to succeed now and in the future. This week's U.S. Bank future leader is Haley Jones, one of the nation's top recruits. This week, we spent a day in the life of this talented basketball player. The sun doesn't come up for another hour, but school at Archbishop Mitty High School in San Jose starts at 7.50, and Haley Jones lives over 30 miles away in Santa Cruz. She's to get an early start. Tonight is the CCS semifinal game, and just like many other athletes, Haley has her game day rituals. First on Haley's to-do list, music. I usually listen to slow music in the mornings. Then she makes her bed and begins to pack her bag for the game. She looks for the shoe box labeled Midi Game Day Shoes. She's pretty organized. All my Midi uniforms are in this one. All packed up, Haley gets ready to head downstairs. But first, a little housekeeping. My mom just came up with this filing cabinet system. In this nicely labeled bin, she keeps every recruiting letter she's I, ever received. I, I uh, appreciate everyone and I read all of them to take it to heart. Haley is only a junior and has some time before any decision on colleges, so she heads downstairs, packs her lunch, and starts making breakfast. Her parents, Monique and Patrick, join in. Haley is in charge of turning on the tunes. How's this wake up music? This is game day hype right here. Haley's mom finishes off her breakfast and packs it to go. She'll eat it on the way. It's an hour car ride to Mitty. At least, she hopes it's only an hour. Haley usually drives herself to school, but on game days, her mom or dad will take her. It's mom's turn today. Freshman year and sophomore year, I didn't have to do the drive myself. I was able to get my homework done or sleep, but now that I'm doing the drive every day, it definitely is a lot different. Luckily, traffic wasn't too bad, so she makes it on time. Haley pulls into the parking lot about 15 minutes before class and meets her friends. First up, Clase de Español. I think it was. Her Spanish teacher asks about college and whether or not she wants to stay in California. Um, no sé. A difficult question to an athlete with so many options. You know how that is. After Spanish, it's physics and then lunchtime. She joins her teammates for lunch. After that, she heads off to strength and conditioning class. Since it's game day, it's nothing too strenuous. <laughs> Just stretching. Then it's off to shoot around, where we first get to see Haley and this championship basketball team in action. Haley has played every game since her freshman year. Only five losses in that time and one state championship. This season, she's averaging over 21 points a game, has over 240 rebounds, and scored her 1,000th career point earlier this year. It was like a moment of pure joy, and it was kind of like that all like my hard work had kind of like got me somewhere, and it was a huge milestone for myself. What doesn't she bring to the court? Head coach Sue Phillips has been there for every point. She says Haley is really something. The fact that she's the most versatile player I've coached in 26 years is, is really kind of saying something. And I think that's what makes her so attractive to uh, the college coaches and USA basketball, is her ability to play positions one through five. She's that new era of basketball players that are essentially positionless. After a quick stretch and pregame meal, it's time. The Midi Girls basketball team hops on the bus and heads to their playoff game. Same thing, same thing. All right. And boy, do these monarchs love to laugh. <laughs> and sing. I think what makes us so successful with this team in particular is that we all get along so well. We just have so much fun with each other on and off the court. We're really playing for each other this season. Then the Monarchs get serious. A pep talk from Coach Phillips, and it's time. Monarchs! Mitty takes the court in the hunt for its seventh state title. Haley starts off the game as the strong forward, but she'll play about every position. Mitty needs to win this game to make it to the CCS finals. Haley wins the tip off and gets the first bucket of the game. And one. It was a close first quarter, but then, yeah, Haley shows off some defense. 
And with some help from Penn State bound guard Charisma Ortiz, the Monarchs led by 16 at the half. When it was said and done, Mitty was on its way to a chance at its 27th section title. And Haley Jones prepares for her ride back to Santa Cruz. Because in 10 hours, she's going to do it all over again. I'm Haley Jones, and that has been a day in my life. Haley is humble and poised, and it's just unbelievable she's only a junior. So she hopes to have the colleges narrowed down to five schools in the fall, and then she'll commit at the end of the year, so her senior year she can just ball out. Yeah, and what struck <laughs> me by all this is how incredibly organized she is. Yeah, yeah. Those shoe boxes, she labels every shoe, midi game day shoes, midi pink shoes. It's crazy. Yeah, and she <laughs> made her bed, which as a parent is very impressive. <laughs> Hi, John Failer out of Saratoga and Santa Clara. I am very proud to support Northern California Bay Area High School Sports. 